All right, so what's going on, guys? Check it out, man. I want to talk to you guys about something. I actually want you guys to meet somebody. What do you want, buddy? You want to talk to YouTube? You want to talk to the world, buddy? Say hey, boy. Say hey. So basically, man, I wanted to make this video because I wanted to help him right here. This dog right here. This dog named Buddy. Two days before Christmas, I found this dog on my back porch. I didn't even know what was on my back porch. Keep that in mind. Also, I'm a little under the weather, so if I sound funny, that's why. Like I was saying, man, I found this dog right here on our back porch literally two days before Christmas. And honestly, at first I was just gonna, you know, shoo him away, tell him to get on, but it was it was raining so hard that day. And I'm gonna try to see if I still had the clip saved on my phone. It'll probably be like in Snapchat form, but I'll try to insert that clip in here to show you guys what I actually did. I actually gave him a shirt, I fed him. I did a lot, you know what I'm saying? And so I come back here. You know, I'm in my house cleaning. And I see a shadow in my back porch. And I'm trying to wonder, what is it back there? And I find this fellow back there. You know, I just tried to make him feel as comfortable as possible because it was really raining very, very hard and it was extremely cold. But, you know, I told my, my mom was like, he can't stay here. Obviously, we knew that because he's such a big dog. But, what, boy? Hmm? He's such a good dog, guys. Look at him. He's such a good dog. But, um, you want to go walking with me, buddy? Come on. Let's go walking. So, anyways, like I was saying, guys. So, my mom was like, he can't stay here. I knew he couldn't stay here. But, you know, Christmas was two days away. So, I was like, you know what, mom? Let's just let him stay until Christmas is over. You know what I'm saying? Let him be able to, you know, spend Christmas with us since he's homeless right now. Because for him to be as big of a dog as he is, you know, I would assume that he had a home. You know what I'm saying? But apparently he must have ran away, maybe because of, of abusive uh, guardians or things like that. I'm really not sure. Like I was saying, so basically, my mom ended up letting him stay, which was very, very exciting. Me and Kaylon really loved this dog right here. You know what I'm saying? Like, we really got attached to him. And, you know, for me, man, I don't, I try not to get too attached to him because I knew we couldn't keep him. You know what I'm saying? But anyways, fast forward. So um, Christmas is here. You know, I'm taking care of him. I'm feeding him. You know what I'm saying? Making sure he has a blanket and, you know, I even put a shirt on him, like I said, to try to keep him warm. And look at him, he got him up here with me. <laughs> look at him, yeah. You know what I'm saying? So, let's see if I can get him right there. Yeah, so, you know, I did all the things that I felt like was necessary to help this dog out. You know what I'm saying? And I've never been attached to a, a dog that I didn't know like I am with him. We gave him a name, his name is Buddy. And, uh, you know, for me, man, I feel so much joy, man, for doing this and helping this dog, man, because, you know, he showed me something, you know what I'm saying? And I just want to talk to anybody out there that does see, like, dogs that's homeless and things like that. You know, we're going to call the animal shelter this time, but I just want to give a quick story of what happened the day after Christmas. So the day after Christmas, um, I was asleep one morning. And I heard him barking, but you know, he barks all the time. So I really wasn't, you know, thinking of anything cause he just barks in the middle of the night like that. But you know, after that, all of a sudden it got louder and louder. And then, you know, I still was ignoring it. And then all of a sudden, come on, buddy. We got to keep walking. Come on. <laughs> then all of a sudden, I, I, I heard some real, real, it's like I heard other dogs. I'm sorry, I can't talk right now, guys. I'm sorry, it's really cold. But I heard two other dogs as well in my backyard. And I'm like, what the heck is going on? And next thing you know, I find out that 
It's two pit bull guys, two pit bulls out here attacking him. And he was screaming for help. And I, I ran to my room. I put on my pants, I put on my shirt, I put on my coat, I put on my scarf, I did everything. And I came right outside. I even grabbed a big ass stick that I have in my house to help him. You know what I'm saying? Fight these two pit bulls that were attacking him. And, you know, for me, man, those pit bulls would not let him go. Did somebody say something? Anyways, basically, I was trying to beat these pit bulls off of him, but they would not let him go. One of the dogs had like locked jaw on his neck and they would not let him go. And I'm constantly hitting it with the stick, you know, hitting it. I'm trying to find everything in my power. I'm just hitting it, hitting it, and hitting it. And they would not let him go. And finally, finally, they let him go. And once they let him go, he took off, Buddy took off running, and I never seen him until today. So this is why I'm making this video today, because he came back to his second home, which was my house. And I'm just so grateful that he's still alive because I thought Buddy was dead. He was bleeding really, really bad. You know what I'm saying? From the neck. And because, like I said, of the dogs, they had him really attached. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, for me, man, I was very, very nervous. I was very, very scared. And I really didn't know what to do. And um, I really, honestly, I'm gonna be honest with you guys. I really wanted to just take him to the park and just drop him off and leave him there because honestly, I didn't want to do him like that. I didn't want, you know what I mean? Because like I said, I know he can't stay here, but for the simple fact that I felt like I was doing something that was going to better him. You know what I mean? And that's basically what I wanted to do. But that happened right after Christmas. And it really broke my heart, man, because he was looking at me in my eyes, man, and I couldn't help him. You know what I'm saying? And I tried. I did everything that I possibly could. And it just, you know what I'm saying? It didn't work. But today, I'm going to call the animal, animal shelter and we're gonna give him another home. We're gonna give him an opportunity to be adopted. You know what I'm saying? Excuse me guys, it's my, if my nose is running, I'm sorry. Uh, it is what it is. Like I said, it's freezing out here. But uh, we're gonna give him a second home, man. And you know, I just, I'm very happy that I was able to know that he's alive today. And I just wanted to make this video for you guys because you know, look at him, man. You know what I'm saying? Come here, buddy. Come here, boy. Come here. Look at him. You know what I'm saying? He's such a good dog, man. He's such a good dog, guys. He really is. He's not a bad dog at all. Some of the blood that, like I said, is kind of dried up on him. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, we're not necessarily gonna worry about it. But I just wanted to make this quick video for you guys and let you know, you know, basically how I say this dog's life, you know what I'm saying? And I want to give him a better opportunity to be with a family that can take care of him. You know what I mean? Because I still was going to take him to a random park and just drop him off because I didn't want to leave him around here because they may take him to the dog pound and I really don't want him to go to the dog pound. I would rather him go to the animal shelter, you know what I mean? So it's just like, I'm happy he came back. Buddy, oh, yeah, I'm happy he came back. You know what I'm saying? And yeah, that's pretty much it, man. You know what I'm saying? I'm very, very happy, man. I really am. And for anybody out there that ever comes across a stray dog or a homeless dog like that, man, don't just let them be. You know what I'm saying? Take care of them. You know what I'm saying? Set, take them to a place where people will want to take care of him. You know, or her. You know what I'm saying? Things like that. So. That's pretty much it, man, in this video. Buddy, you got anything to say, boy? Huh? <laughs> Buddy. Come here, boy. Come here. Come here. You got anything to say to the YouTube community? Huh? Come here. Come on. Look at him, y'all. <laughs> I love this man, man. I hope, I hope that you have a, a very good family man that could take care of you, you know? 
because I wish I could, but we can't keep you where we stay at. So that's pretty much it, man. You know what I'm saying? It's your boy Broadway here again with another video, man. I hope you guys enjoyed your Christmas. I hope you guys enjoyed your holiday. And I'll see you guys in my next video, man. Peace.